it's that time of year again. Uh, it's starting to get cold and chilly in the water, the leaves are starting to change colour, and of course your mum is pestering you for Christmas gift ideas. Either that or you just have a little extra money burning inside of your pocket and you know, you deserve to treat yourself. Uh, hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to the Scuba Diving Magazine channel, your favourite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. It's hard buying dive gear for another diver, uh, especially if you're not a diver yourself. So. I tried to keep things kind of broad with this gift ideas video that any diver would appreciate any of these, no matter their level. Um, I've kept the budget relatively low for most of them, uh, but kind of kept it as like broad that yeah, any diver would like, appreciate. Anything expensive, uh, it's best to kind of talk to the diver themselves about it instead of just buying something in the blind uh, but there are some cheaper options out there and like disposable things as well that are, are nice uh, that if someone else foots the bill uh, so yeah I've just come up with a few gift ideas that that should suit any diver scuba.com is your one-stop shop for everything underwater whether you're a seasoned scuba diving pro or just starting to explore the wonders of the deep scuba.com has everything that you need browse their extensive selection of scuba and snorkeling equipment from leading brands find masks fins bcds wetsuits and regulators and everything else that you need for a comfortable and safe dive scuba.com's team consists of highly trained and experienced professionals who have dived all over the world get personalized recommendations for the person gear no matter your diving destination or style ready to take the plunge scuba.com offers scuba diving classes from all levels from beginner open water diver certification to advanced technical diving courses if you're looking for the ultimate underwater adventure scuba.com curates diving trips around the globe to exotic destinations dive into a world of possibilities with scuba.com I love getting magazine subscriptions as gifts because it's not really something that I would buy myself and it's a gift that kind of like keeps on giving. It keeps coming back once a month uh, for as long as you like really. Um, we personally publish three regional magazines around the world uh, in both digital and print forms. If you're more old school and you prefer to flick through a physical tangible magazine there's the print editions that turn up in the mail or if you're a bit more modern then there's the digital edition that you can read on your smart device wherever you are uh, you can read some of the old editions if you want to see what you're getting into on our website uh, and of course on the website we'll lead you through the process of organizing a subscription uh, i'll pop a link up here in the corner that will take you to our web page uh, and I'll pop another, well, the same link down in the description under this video also. So if that one's disappeared, uh, you can click it down in the description. Parts of our dive gear deteriorate over time and need replacing, but no one's really going to get particularly excited if they have a fresh hose under the Christmas tree. Um, gift cards from their local dive center or a large online store like scuba.com uh, can take some of the sting out of like servicing their gear or purchasing replacement parts. They can also pay for multiple air fills, uh, which is nice to know uh, that your next new fills are already bought and paid for by someone else. They can also, a gift card can also help to reduce the cost of something expensive that they're looking at. Uh, but gift cards, they're a really handy gift idea if you really can't decide what to buy and especially if you're running out of time. A lot of the online retailers run digital gift cards that they can just be emailed to any email address and you don't have to worry about like stock levels if they don't have them printed out or anything or the actual shipping time uh, it's just instantaneous so if you're watching this on december 24th uh, a digital gift card is probably the best bet Ponchos uh, have rocketed in popularity in recent years and for good reason. Uh, even my son has a poncho to throw over him after his swimming lessons to dry him off because the time from exiting the water to your skin being actually dry, you're victim to the elements and it's nice to just cover yourself up with a poncho with an absorbent lining to protect you from either the wind 
just running over your cold wet skin uh, the rain or just like eyes looking at you um, throw it on over your wetsuit as soon as you get out uh, and then you can strip down underneath your poncho without exposing yourself to everybody in the area uh, you either get like really thin ones that are just made of like towel material um, or you can find thicker ponchos with waterproof outers they're like a waterproof coat um, with like thicker insulation on some for colder climates uh, if you don't have a poncho it is a really great addition to your kit bag uh, so yeah and it's a nice one that if you've got more than one poncho that's not the end of the world that's that's a bonus Not particularly glamorous, this one, uh, but diving hangers are really usually on my gift, uh, gift list. Uh, so you can hang your, your suit and your dive gear up without damaging your wetsuit or the BCD from slipping off of the sides. If you don't know, uh, we use very wide shoulder hangers for our wetsuits so that the neoprene doesn't like pinch and crease. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can find some with like built-in fans as well that blow air into the neck so you can dry the inside of the suit whilst it's hung up, which is very cool. Uh, and we have like hooked hangers for BCDs to stop the shoulder straps from slipping over the edges when you're hanging them up, uh, as well as a host of all other shapes and sizes of hangers for our other bits and bobs. Um, they're always useful. And they're always new and clever designs out there to make our lives easier. Uh, so yeah, again, just another like general one is always handy just to have an extra hanger just to hang something else up. Dry bags are an easy sell for a scuba diver. Uh, they're really so useful to organize your gear and they do wear out over time. So they do need replacing, especially the thinner lightweight ones. Chances are they already have like a large kit bag but a bunch of smaller dry bags to go inside that big kit bag are perfect. It helps to separate your stuff from like your, your surface, like your phone and your car keys and that kind of stuff in one bag. Uh, your clothes can go in a separate one, um, your accessories, and it just helps to just keep things contained and dry. They range in size from really small flat bags uh, designed to keep your your phone inside you can still use your phone through like a clear screen but it's waterproof so your phone's safe small five liter bags are very handy for small bits and bobs uh, and then just all the way up to like duffel bags a range of sizes is handy uh, but if in doubt a solid like 10 or 20 litre dry bag is great and not ridiculously expensive. And in some cases you can buy like a set so you get a 5, a 10 and a 20 or something. These are a bit more expensive. Um, well, quite expensive, especially compared to a dry bag. Uh, we're finding smaller and more affordable emergency beacons that can help a diver be found if they're ever lost at sea. Should you surface and the boat isn't there or current has pulled you away from where you expected to surface then a basic beacon will make you pop up on nearby boats gps screens so that they can see you on their like version of gps um, as like someone in distress to come and check out some the more fancy ones will talk to satellites or have like built-in marine radios so you can call and literally talk to someone over a marine radio um, they often require like subscriptions the fancier ones um, and like registrations because you're using emergency channels but they often have much more precise systems uh, that will like liaise with relevant emergency services to help you be found rather than leaving it up to chance uh, yeah should the worst happen you press a, a button and it literally sends a signal to a satellite to someone at their like hub who then liaises and says hey there's a missing diver here gets the local emergency services rolling uh, and yeah you get found faster dive clothing uh, in general is always a nice gift. Uh, they range from funny t-shirts to very functional outerwear. As you can imagine, a lot of R&D goes into exposure protection to keep us warm when we're submerged underwater for extended periods of time. The manufacturers decided to use those same materials to make things like hoodies, hats and gloves. And those materials 
are just far better than just high street clothing uh, and it's specifically made to work well even when wet uh, so it's perfect for us divers when we're just doing stuff on the surface. Uh, if you dive in warmer climates then like rash guards are always nice, it's nice to have an extra one so you don't have to put a cold wet one on for your next dive. Uh, the material of rash guards is designed to protect you from the sun uh, so you don't need sunscreen and marine stings as well so it protects you from jellyfish and stuff like that um, if you know what kind of diver they are whether warm water or cold water um, then you can get something appropriate for them If you own your own cylinders, then the compressed gas inside can be very useful uh, for more than just breathing underwater. I have one fitting that I use to fill the tyres on my car to, uh, to save me from pumping them up with a foot pump. Um, and I also have one for that I use for dusting. Uh, it's pretty aggressive, so uh, I wouldn't use it to like clean the lens or anything on my camera um, or anything delicate, but a good blast of compressed gas uh, can be really useful to just clean awkward places. Just be careful because you will create a dust cloud um, if you don't give the dust anywhere to go. But I regularly like dust my electronics and things without actually opening them up, uh, just kind of blast it through and you'll be amazed at how much dust comes out. If there's one thing that divers forget to care for, it's their ears. Um, they'll take over the bathroom washing and drying their dive equipment, but they forget to look after their own ears. Most dive stores will hold one or two like ear treatment drops that help to prevent microbes from establishing an ear infection. If you're prone to ear infections, then chances are you either don't know about eardrops and how they can help prevent things like otitis externa, uh, or you're well aware of ear infections and you know that you'll appreciate an extra dose of uh, like eardrops to keep in your kit bag. Uh, but yeah, something nice and small, yeah, to eardrops just to uh, kill those nasties. Dive gear is very personal and quite expensive also for the good stuff. Uh, if you don't know exactly what they want, it's better to just ruin the surprise, unfortunately, um, and just ask for exactly what they want. I mean, if I want like, a new mask, for example, I won't leave it up to chance for someone else to decide which mask I'm gonna use. I want to be able to pick and choose my own mask. Uh, if it's something relatively small, like a finger spool, that's fine. An extra finger spool is always handy and you can't go far wrong with something like a poncho or a t-shirt or something. But if it's something like a mask or a regulator, uh, whilst the thought behind it is really nice and that's what counts, most divers would rather choose their own gear and I'd rather like go halves with you if the gear that I specifically want is outside of your budget than to have this kind of cheaper regulator or something that I kind of don't really want or need. Uh, I kind of wanted this one. Uh, I'd rather just, kind of, that's where gift cards really shine. Um, you still get the glory of my shiny new regulator, but you don't have to pay for the entire thing. Uh, it's just an excuse for me to, yeah purchase that more expensive regulator. If you do want it to be a surprise, then I'd say keep it fairly simple. Anything else, and I'd chat with the diver to see if there's anything that they specifically want or need, because chances are they're already coveting something that they've seen on social media, so they've got it in their mind, and they're just kind of waiting for that excuse to buy it for themselves, uh, or for someone to say, hey, I want to buy you something, what would you like? Um, but let me know what's on your Christmas list uh, down in the comments section below. Uh, give some of the viewers some ideas of what to buy divers. Personally, uh, as you can probably tell, I always appreciate a good bolt snap uh, in my Christmas stocking and you can always browse the scuba.com website. Uh, today's sponsor, they carry everything on their website uh, and you can even pay for their next diving holiday at scuba.com as well. If you're feeling generous, uh, they really do everything over there so it's worth browsing. Uh, links will be up in the, uh, in the corner here and down in the description. Uh, check out our website also. Remember a magazine subscription uh, is a really cool gift and we deliver all over the world with the digital version. Uh, all you really need is an email address. Uh, have a look after this video and uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found it useful. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.